What's up, Philly Phil Gang? How y'all doing? Everybody, how are y'all doing? Eat with Philly Phil Gang. EWTPG. Welcome back to the channel, guys. How y'all doing? YouTube land, EWPPG. What's going on? It's Saturday night. Okay, your girl's finally gonna try it. Gonna try my new walk that She Radiance gifted to me a couple of, well, it's been a couple of months ago. Not that long. <sighs> so, be my first time cooking in it. I hope I don't mess up this shrimp fried rice. We got our shrimp, some colossal shrimp. We got a pound and a half. Three cups of cooked white rice. I remember last time you guys said cook your rice ahead of time, so I did. Got a soy sauce, sesame oil. Got our um, cooking oil. We're gonna need that vegetable oil. And then ginger, carrots, and it calls for snow peas. I don't like snow peas, so we're gonna omit those. Um, I also have some uh, colored bell peppers. The recipe doesn't call for that, but I'm gonna put those in there as well. Make it real colorful, you know? As well as I'm gonna add a few seasons to it. Not everything that I use on my chicken and all of that, but just a few. Spice it up a little bit. You know how we do it in Philly Phil's kitchen. So get your drinks, let's get ready. You know what? We cooking and we sipping in the kitchen tonight. See y'all in a minute. All right guys, we're gonna get ready to cook our eggs for the shrimp fried rice like we did last time. Two large eggs, I've whisked them together. And I'm going to, that was one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna let them cook until they're almost set. Then I'll flip it with a spatula. And remove the egg after it's done, after I flip it over. Then I'll slice it up to go in the rice. So you just sort of, like you would do if it was an omelet so it can get cooked and set all the way. Then we'll flip it. Hopefully it'll flip okay. Hope you guys can see okay. Okay, is it ready to flip? Okay, I think we got it. Well, I broke it a little bit, that's okay. It's going to get sliced up anyway. Still looks pretty good. And you don't have to cook it this way. That's just what this recipe called for. Last time it was perfect. Okay, we got the egg done. Let's get started on the rice. Okay guys, I have a tablespoon of vegetable oil in my new wok that She Radiance got for me. All right, I'm going to add, I saute these just a little bit, my onion, bell pepper, and garlic because the recipe didn't call for that. So I'm adding the ginger, tablespoon of ginger, and the shrimp, okay? And we're going to stir fry this for about two minutes or so until they're cooked full, real good. Almost done, pretty much. Oh, this wok is nice. I can certainly tell a difference than when I cooked the last time. This is a Rachel, Rachel Ray wok. <laughs> and I have this on high heat. And of course, again, the recipe didn't call for the uh, bell peppers and the garlic. I was really just supposed to start this off with some ginger and the shrimp, but I wanted to add the bell peppers, different color bell peppers. So when it says to stir fry this on high heat, which is what we're doing. Oh, I love this wok. I can certainly tell a difference. 
Então, de desse canto, como é que eu deixo aqui, velho? Ah, sei lá, sei lá. We have this comes out. Okay. If we let this cook through, we're going to add our carrots. I don't think it's been two minutes yet. I don't think. Last time I forgot to put the eggs in until the very end. I'm not going to forget this time. I'm going to try not to forget. Okay. Now we're going to add the carrots. Cook this for about a minute. Then next we're going to add our rice and the soy sauce mixture. And I've mixed the soy sauce, the sesame oil, and a tablespoon of water together. That's how it said to do that, okay? Mm, I can smell that ginger, it smells really good. We're gonna go ahead and add the rice. This is three cups of cooked rice. And our soy sauce mixture. Okay. Let's see how it comes out. You guys can see it pretty good. Just plug it all in there. Last, we're going to add our eggs. I'm not going to forget this time. Okay? And we cut the eggs up into strips. Or you can chop them up. Totally up to you. rice is done guys let's get ready to eat oh, i did want to add a little oregano and um basil and italian seasoning to it just to add my little touch to it i'm not going to add any onion powder and garlic powder and i don't need anything with salt in it because the soy sauce has enough salt all right now we're ready Guys, our shrimp fried rice and my new wok is done. Let's see how we did. Let's bless the food, okay? Bless this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. Okay, shrimp fried rice. We did it ourselves. We didn't have to go out to the restaurant. No, we didn't. Okay, I have some uh, sweet chili sauce in this little glass here that I'm going to dip my shrimp in. It, this sauce tastes really good. You guys can't see it. And we have us a beverage this Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have chopsticks and I have a fork back here too. Let me see, I'm gonna dip this in there. I need a thumbnail. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And this has a little spice to it. And these are, I bought these shrimp at Kroger today. They are the colossal, really the big ones, 9 dollars 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my rice. This is good. Put a little bit back here. So how are you all doing this Saturday? What's going on? What did you eat? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's good. I can really tell the difference that wok makes a difference and me cooking the rice um, ahead of time and letting it sit and just cool down really, really good. Mm. Mm. The veggies still have a little crunch to them. The carrots. Mm. I got to dip that. I got to dip. Uh. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Hmm. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. Oh, this is pretty good. Shrimp fried rice. You can do it yourself. And if you want to add more soy sauce to it, you can. Next time, I'm going to make some garlic butter. Like they have at uh, Benny Hunters. You can make your own garlic butter. Infuse that butter with garlic. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. I can taste those green onions I chopped up and cut put in here. Mm. These shrimp are really good. I can taste the ginger. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm hmm. Our egg came out good too, you know. And you can cook if you don't want to cook it that way. You can just scramble it up and chop it up. Just as long as you chop it up and put it in your rice. Mm. And the recipe didn't call for the bell peppers and garlic, but I wanted to have some extra veggies in here, you know. Add a little color to it. And I can taste them. They taste good. Mm. Mm hmm. Let me see. Let me get the. Dip this in here. Come back over here and get me some rice. Mm. Here you go. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So Friday night was chili cheese dogs and let me tell you baby that was good mm -hmm. so I have that chili put up we're gonna do another dish with that chili it's just too good to give away mm -hmm. so we will be having leftover chili how about that y'all have any suggestions of what I should do with it mm, look at this y'all use the chopsticks when you use chopsticks, it just makes the Chinese food taste better to me. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on now. Don't act up on me. Don't want to come back over here. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, how was your day? Let me tell you. I had some car issues today. My little work car <laughs> had a flat tire, and boy, it took about two hours to get everything, maybe a little bit longer than that, together. But, no, I don't know how to change a flat tire. I'll put a tire back on the car. <laughs> and I do have roadside service and all that. Call the insurance company, the roadside. Took them an hour to even answer, so. Mm hmm. But that threw me off schedule. So I had to end up doing my video later than I wanted to. Mm. But. Thank God it's all over with now. Whew. That was a mess. It was a mess today. Mm. I had just gotten on the expressway. Mm. 
Mm. I was close to home though. Oh, look at this. It's good. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, this is good. And like I said, I can really tell a difference. The rice, it's it's not gummy or too wet or anything. Mm-hmm. It's good. I should have put some of my gogo tongue in here, but well, I'm out of it. That's one reason I didn't use it. Huh. Mmm. I think I added some of that the last time, but it's still good. I say these shrimp are huge, guys. Here, take a bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That makes a difference. Yes, it does. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Talk to Rico today. He's in his new location. Yo, he's in the army, so he relocated today. Mm. His dad helped him move and everything. And what did y'all think of that's Rico's daughter, my granddaughter that opened up opened up for me. <laughs> that's Miss Jaden. <laughs> mm. I had been wanting her, you know, she lives in Oklahoma. I had been wanting her to send me a little clip to use in my videos. So her other grandmother helped her do it. Thank you, April. I appreciate it. You and Jaden. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Do you like shrimp fried rice? I'm going to do a steak fry next. My new wok. Mm, I love it. I should have made it a little bit more spicier. I didn't do that this time. I, I really forgot. I forgot my red pepper flakes or my cayenne pepper. I can't believe that. Yep, I can't believe I forgot that. But it's still good. Oh, I'm trying to think. You guys like when I tell you funny stories about Gramps. I have so many. I'm trying to see which one I want to talk about tonight. I said I talk about the one when I got my <laughs> my new car. I had uh, gotten rid of my truck and got me another car. And you know, Gramps was a smoker. He smoked cools and then he switched over to Paul Malls. I think I'm saying that right. Well, when I got my new car, I said, "Well, Gramps." This is a new car. I don't want. I don't want you to smoke in here. I don't want the smoke in here. Y'all, he looked at me. <laughs> he was on the passenger seat. He said, "Damn, tell you what, people show sure act chicken shitty when they get new cars." <laughs> I said, "Gramps, what is chicken shitty?" <laughs> Yo. He must have got so mad. I said, look, I said, okay. I went and got a paper cup. I said, okay, you can smoke in here. I said, just put your ashes in here because I don't have an ashtray. He said, where'd you think I was going to put them on the damn floor? <laughs> True story, honey. And so, hey, he could smoke in the car after that. I never said no smoke in there again. Mm. To him anyway. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Yep, that was quiet. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. The shrimp fried rice was good. Mm hmm. Delicious. The shrimp are huge. I can taste the ginger. 
all those flavors, the green onions that I topped it off with, this sweet chili sauce, dipping the shrimp in here tastes really good. Of course, you can always add, I forgot to add me some extra red pepper flakes. I wanted it a bit more spicier, but it's still good. Everyone doesn't like that spicy food anyway. All right. You know what I'm getting ready to do. Let me get ready to clean up a little bit. Come back and read our comments, okay? Be back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's see what you guys had to say about last night's homemade chili cheese dogs. <clears throat> okay, Penny Crudup. She said, redo. She likes, sometimes she likes to put coleslaw on her, on her chili dogs, okay? She Radiance, wow, Philly, those dogs look mighty tasty on this Friday night. Keep cooking and sipping in the kitchen. Have a good weekend. I will do just that. <laughs> Rose for you. Hey, Philly, Phil, there is nothing like a good hot dog occasionally, and yours are on point. Thanks for sharing your delicious chili recipe as well. Be blessed. You're welcome, you too. Nicole Zimmerman, oh my, oh my goodness, the spicy sauce is amazing and packed well. Spicy was perfect for me because Michael was handling it so much that I ordered spicy instead of mild. The only concern is that the onions were so thin, but mm-mm. So thin, you mean I, they were cut up too small for you? Well, I didn't want you to just have a thing full of onions, but hey. I'll take that under consideration. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for the feedback. SMB 770. Hey, my favorite Southern cooking lady. That chili looks so good. When I try your recipe, I'm definitely going to let you know how I like it. Keep cooking in the kitchen. Okay. Let me know. Cardica Parker. Older mind stick alike. I'm eating the same thing. Love you, Philly Phil. Okay. Angel Gemini. Hey girl, I love chili hot dogs powered with onions. Thanks for the good video. You are welcome. Extina Grubbs. Hey sis, I'm here. Okay. Extina Grubbs. Have y'all checked out her channel? She can do a challenge, honey. She can handle it. And she always finish her challenges. Mama's Mad Ideas. Hi, those are some good looking hot dogs. Thanks so much for wishing me and my daughter a happy birthday. You are welcome. Sharon Pettis, man, those hot dogs look so good. Looks good. Tiana Pointer, hello, Philly Phil. Wow, chili, lots of meat. Great video, cooked to perfection. Uh, great video, cooked to perfection. God bless you. Enjoy your weekend. You too. The Franklin family, hello, nice to meet you. So glad we connected. Keep the videos coming. Notifications are on, and I look forward to seeing more videos coming from you. Yes, you're welcome. I'm glad we are connected and I will definitely be checking you out. Be Sugar 100. Hey, Philly Phil, how you doing? I just made that meal for dinner last night. The only thing that was missing was the coleslaw at Penny Crudup. It definitely makes it better with coleslaw, but I didn't have any. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Um, I didn't have any. Next time. Philly Phil, another good mouthwatering video, sis. Have a blessed one. You too. Martha Joe, everything looks yummy. Marty B, Philly Phil, I sure wish I was your neighbor. <laughs> Them hot dogs are slapping. <laughs> Wanda Whitley, yes, looking real good. Marty B, Philly Phil, oh, it's on here twice. The same message. Uh, Sent and Mo, yeah, baby, we're here for it, fam. Hey, Sent and Mo. L, no, AJL, looks good, looks too good. Thanks, okay. Kimmy said, looks delicious. Penny Crudup, good morning, Philly Phil. Your loaded hot dog looks delicious. I have to try your recipe. Every once in a while, I put, I like to put coleslaw on my hot dogs. All depends on what my appetite calls for. Yes, I agree. KFC coleslaw is good. When I make homemade barbecue, I'll go to KFC and get their slaw. Okay. They mandated wearing the mask here in Virginia, and some people still not wearing them. Go figure. Have a safe, blessed day. I know. I was in the store today. Folks just run around, going in and I don't know. <laughs> OB, this was awesome. Deborah Tumor, hi EWPPG. I know that uh, you, I know that you, your chili is fantastic because you made it from scratch. So it's the best. Have a great weekend. Thank you. 
Sandra, happy Saturday morning. I know I'm a day late, but Lordy, Philly Phil, those chili dogs looks delicious. I guess I make some today when I grill out for grandkids. Okay, I hope you gr uh, grilled out how they come out. Tasha Hawkins, hey Philly Phil, chili cheese hot dogs looks delicious. Be safe, be blessed, have a great weekend in Arkansas. Anita Carter, hey Philly Phil. Dorothy Parker said yummy. Pumpkin pie, hey Phil, those those dogs look delicious. All three right, all three ways. I cannot talk. Let me take a sip. <laughs> My recipe for chili dogs is straight from a can. I won't promote the company. I, if I am making a pot of chili, then I pretty much make it as you did. You did the dang thing with yours. I laugh out loud. Have a relaxed weekend, sister. <laughs> Smitty Smith for thank you, pumpkin pie. Uh, Smitty Smith for said hello. Eat up your PPG game. Hello to all of you guys. I hope you had a wonderful Saturday and you're having a good weekend thus far. But if this by chance just happens to be anyone's first time stopping by the channel, the first thing you have to do when you stop by Philly Phil's Kitchen, like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Now, hit that red subscribe button. Hit it again. Turn on your post notifications, okay? Alright, now share the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, okay? All right, guys, you never know where your girl's going to be, what I'll be cooking, what I'll be stir frying, what I'll be baking, what I'll be frying. You just never know what I'm going to be doing in the kitchen. One thing you do know, though, and you better tell everybody, say we're always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. Yes, you are. <laughs> you know what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Tell them, say, we got to keep cooking and sipping in the kitchen. See y'all later.